What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Tone, aka 26 Hollows, and we back with another video for y'all. And you know what we doing? Another Glock review. It's another Glock review. This is one of my favorite guns, my favorite pistols in general. And you know what it is. It's that G45, baby. It's that G45. All guns is clear. Nothing in there. Yes, sir. That right. That's that G45, baby. Yes, sir. This is my favorite pistol thus far. Thus far, man. This thing is nice. This is a, a, a Glock 45 Gen 5 MOS. Had to be the MOS. And the MOS is the Modular Optic System. Yes, sir. So this baby comes with, I believe, four plates that you can interchange right here. You can put a hollow sun, a triticon. The, uh, it's a whole bunch of them, man. It's a whole bunch of sights that you can put on, red dots that you can put on. Basically, that's what the MOS stands for, modular, modular optic sights. Modular optic system. Modular optic system. Mark my word. So... As a lot of you know, the Glock 45 is basically the 19X. That's all it is. That's the Glock that is, it's, it's, it's a crossover from the G17 and the G19. So this has the G17 handle and the G19, well the G17 frame and the G19 slide. Um, and it's the same thing as the Glock 19. The only difference is it has um, a lanyard loop at the bottom back here um, and also it's peanut butter it's FDE man that's all that's the only difference that's the only difference in between the two um, but this one does have front serrations the Glock 19 does not 19x does not have front serrations right here so you can get your your press check in there you know what I'm saying make sure you, you ain't got nothing in there make sure you do got something in there you know, and you ready to go. Glock 19 actually can't do that. They're the same freaking gun, man. And as you can see, I got the Glock 19 X mags in there. And that's what I run. I actually run that in my conceal. I do conceal this gun. I conceal carry this gun. And this is the best conceal carry gun that I own thus far. I do have another setup. For concealed carry, it's a, a smaller gun subcompact, micro compact, whatever you want to call it. Um, but it's way smaller than this. It's like the size of the P365. That's another video. We're going to get y'all right with that one too. But I can still carry this. This is probably, I can still carry this probably seven out of 10 times. Seven out of 10 times, this is what I'm concealing, concealed carrying um, on me, on my purse. So, yeah, and I got that radio innovations um holster and the waistband holster right there with the two clips and got the extra mag the mag holder just the 10 this is not what i carry not what i carry it's just an empty mag my 17 round is loaded fully loaded ready to go in the safe so i had to uh just use this for example you know we are in maryland so it does come with 10 round magazines Absolutely. But I do, I usually put that in and I carry that. I carry that. So basically it looks like this one I'm carrying. Looks like this one I carry. I have my 17 in there. Got the 19 on the side. Like I always tell you guys, at least keep 26 hollows. Keep at least 26 hollows on you. Um, every day everywhere you go why not man why not and you never know you never know so yes this is my g45 um let's get into it so i did put the the hollow sun you can see that right there i can see barely i put that hollow sun is not trying to focus 
that is not trying to focus. But anyway, I put that hollow sign 507 C X2 on there. I put that X2 on there. Yeah. Oh, say less. <laughs> yeah, baby. And it's nice. We're going to show y'all how that looks. Show y'all how that looks right there. So, everything's unloaded. It's clear. Nothing in there. That red dot on there. That MOS, baby. Nothing like that MOS. See that thing right there? You be on target. You just be too on target with that right there. I'm telling you. This thing right here. I'm on point with this thing right here. I shoot the best with this gun right here. No cap. Stop the cap. No bullshit. I shoot the best with this gun right here. So yeah, I got the Hollow Sun 507C X2 on that baby. And then, as you can see, these are not normal sights. These are not normal Glock sights. Um, we're gonna do some comparison with the the G17 right here. This is also clear. Nothing in there. We do some G, some comparison with with this. But as you can see, this has regular Glock sights on there, and I would not change anything on this gun ever. It's my first first gun. I'm not messing with her. <clears throat> as you can see, I got the suppressor height sights right here. Also in the front, you can see those stick up with the red dot. I do not have them co witness. As you can see, my dot is over top of my sight. But these are true glows. Um, they're tritium night sights. So the back ones, they glow in the dark. And the front one, it glows in the dark. Um, and it glows green. So, yeah. And as you can see, another thing. You can tell all my pistols have grips on it. These are handling grips just in case anything happens. I drop it, drops in the mud, the sand, the water, whatever. This this thing right here, have you on point. Have you on point, I have it right here. Where my thumb goes, right here where my index goes. It's perfect placement and you want to practice that trigger discipline. You know, those gun safety rules. You know what I'm saying? You want to practice that gun safety. She always practice that gun safety man. Always. Always. So yeah, this is my G45, man. Same thing as the 19X. Same exact gun. And actually, they're around the same, the same price. That's crazy. They're around the same price. Um, especially this MOS version. Now the regular version without the MOS might be a little cheaper. It might be a little cheaper than uh, the 19X because they want they hitting heads for the 19Xs, man. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. That's originally what I went to the store for was get to a 19X, but they only had blue label. Blue label, as you know, only uh, military and law enforcement basically can get that unless you're in a blue label program. You save you save money, man. You save money. Like sometimes you save about forty dollars. From what I hear, you save like forty dollars on a firearm. You know, forty dollars, maybe more on a firearm. But I, I think it's specifically only for Glocks. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me the line. Shut your. But I know for Glocks, you at least save forty dollars. At least forty dollars on a firearm. You get to that blue label and that blue label uh, program. So yeah. That's that. That Glock 45. Now, let me take a sip right now. Mm. And that thing just so perfect. Yeah. That thing so perfect. Right there. Yes, sir. This is my do all pistol. This is my do all pistol. I do everything with this pistol. I repeat, I do everything with this pistol. I go to the range, I train with this pistol, I carry this pistol. Everything with this pistol. 
Only thing I don't have is a flashlight for the front and that will be coming soon. So this would be good for home defense. It's only really good for home defense if you can, you know, put that flashlight in the dark, walk around with that baby, just to make sure ain't nobody creeping up in your house and all that stuff. So yeah, I gotta put that flashlight. I don't know what I'm going with. I don't know if I'm going stream light, um, O light or, or uh, surefire. I don't know where I'm going. Comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts is on those three companies. But it's gonna be between those three companies. Trust and believe that. I do have a flashlight. Um, it's a little cheap, flimsy flashlight. I wouldn't put that on here. I would not put that on here. I actually have that on my MCK. Yeah. yeah. G45, baby. All right, so let's get into some comparisons. Let's get into some comparisons, man. It's lovely, ain't it? Beautiful. Beautiful pile. Glock, man. It's Glock. Let's get into some comparisons. So this is the G17. So this is the crossover from the G17 and the D19. Like I said before, it has the same frame as far as the handle. But it does not have the same slide. The slide is actually shorter. So they do have the same handle. Same exact handle. Get that level. The babies together, man. Get it right. But they do have the same handle as you can see same handle but they are different in the slide the slides are different let me flip it around the slides are different and this is a gen 3 g17 and this is a gen 5 g45 so you can see you got a lot of space right there got a lot of space right there this is a compact it's considered a compact firearm but it does have a full size grip as you can see i have humongous hands so i ain't go with the g19 i could have got a g19 the g19 probably cuts off like right there and right around there you got you got the g19 to right right around there yes sir so that's the comparison between these two, the full size and the compact with the full size grips, the crossover, same thing as the 19X. You never go wrong with a G17, you never go wrong with a G19, you never go wrong with a 19X or a G45, baby. Or a G45. And I'm actually not mad that I don't have the G19. I'm actually happy with this. I'm actually happy with this. You can always get a Cerakote and create this color, whatever color that you want. I, I went to the gum, the, uh, the gum range and the range did uh, Cerakote. They had green, purple, red, silver, whatever you want. Peanut butter, like you can make it the same color as the G19, I mean G19X, um, same color, everything. And you can make it whatever, you know. You know, you always can get your, your, your gun customized and whatever you want put put your name on it put whatever you want on it now these triggers are a little different i don't know what they did i think they put the forgot what it's called the forgot what they called it um i'm gonna have to look it up but this is a different trigger and then i think they put that match barrel performance performance barrel or something in a performance trigger mom don't mark my word it's something different about these triggers though and this one is completely different from a g17 it even sounds different if you can hear that <laughs> oh shit it sounds different it's crazy it's crazy, but this is the G17 Gen 3. This is the trigger, the wall, I'm at the wall. Break, reset, reset, 
This is the G45 Gen 5. I'm at the wall. A little pressure, a little pressure, a little pressure. Break. Reset. Woo! Yeah. Better triggers in a in a G in a Gen 5. Way better triggers in the Gen 5. It's still glog, it's still kind of mushy, but it's a better trigger in the, in the Gen 5. I actually had to get used to this this trick. And I put about I don't know about 400 rounds through this. So this is still a new block. This is not completely broken in yet. This about 400 rounds put through this. Yeah, this is my G. My G45, baby. My G45. Nice firearm. Put that in there. You just put that right on you. Ain't too big. Some people don't like the, the full size handle. Kind of sticks out. Some clothes, like you can't wear real, real tight clothes with this. Um, I wouldn't recommend it. I have another firearm that I can still carry. It's way smaller. Subcompact, micro compact, like if you're wearing shorts or something like that. But other than that, winter time, springtime, you got a little hoodie on or something like that. Nobody knows this is on you. I carry this every day. Almost every day. Sometimes I go smaller just for comfortability or you know, I might wear less clothes or something like that. So I might go a little smaller. But other than that, this one, man, this one ready to go. I'm telling you, I'm on point with this. You know, I'm surgical with this bitch, Jake. How you want it, dog? Huh? Closed casket? You remember that fool in the wheelchair? Between these two and a the recoil, it's not much difference, but it is a difference. I believe the G17 doesn't have that much recoil, but this long slide, like the recoil of this long slide coming all the way back, it's a little different. This one has a little more kick. But I'm more on point, and I don't know if that's the red dot as well. I shoot very well with, with iron sights. Don't get me wrong. I shoot very well with iron sights. But this red dot, man, with this G45, full length grip. You know what I'm saying? Full size grip with the, with the 19 slide. Man, shoot a G45, man. Get you a G45. Get you an MOS, whether it be a G45 or any other patent Glock. Get you an MOS version. <laughs> I'm telling you. But I do got something sweet coming up for y'all. New gun alert. It's a new gun alert. Yes, I'm about to get a new gun, man. Um, I'm I'm going Glock. I'm going Glock. That's all I'm gonna tell y'all. I I get out of that. I'm going Glock. Hmm. What caliber Glock do you think I'm getting? Comment down below. Comment down below. You got to get you a Glock 45. You got to get you a Glock 45. Yes, sir. So anyway, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, man. That's my review on a Glock 45. Gen 5 MOS. Yes, sir. I'll see y'all later. Y'all stay safe. Y'all stay dangerous. And keep at least 26 hollows on y'all, man.